Hello everyone, welcome to another Pickups video. Happy Valentine's Day if you're watching us uh, today. Hope you had a good weekend as well and a good start to the week. Uh, today was definitely one of those days where I was glad that I stayed out longer than normal and really pushed through to a few different places because it did not start off great. I went to a different Goodwill bargain bins, one that I've been to plenty of times before. Don't go very often though because it's like 40 minutes plus minimum just to get there. And of course the one I go to all the time and talk about it's like 10 minutes away, 15 tops. So don't go to that very often. Sometimes it's a great hit and today was a miserable miss when I went there and I hit some traffic and there was some road construction things. It took me I think just about an hour, a solid hour this morning leaving you know it's like seven o'clock i think this morning it took me about a solid hour to get there and so i was like really annoyed when i got there and there was pretty much nothing normally this place is a good variety of books housewares you know media clothing whatever uh, so that's kind of what where i go because the only thing we don't sell in our stores is clothing you know that we, we focus more on things like books and uh, visual like visual media books movies that type of thing we do some video games we find them but here forget about it around here not finding many video games very often um, like music and that kind of stuff but we just don't really do clothing at all and for the first time that I've ever been there in you know we go there every few months for the past couple of years this is the first time I've ever been there where it was entirely clothing entirely uh, like 10 of those giant blue bins of just clothing and even if I wanted to look through, like I did look through a little bit there, but just within the first two minutes of me coming there, because I was a little bit late past them opening, a bunch of the regulars were standing to the side and like getting me all frustrated and hearing them talking. It was the same stuff that had been there since Friday. So everything I would pick through already for like three days. So there was just, there was literally nothing. I left with like two things, I think, going through all 10 bins in the main area and then another like six or seven bins in the side area and stuff on the floor went through everything and left like all, almost almost empty-handed definitely was was not a good start and then of course they had to, the long trip home so i was pretty pretty ticked off i stopped though at a bunch of different places on the way home, home them just like that i wasn't planning on because i was planning just going there pretty much dropping by our goodwill on the way home and coming home and I stayed out longer uh, because like, I needed to find something. And I was glad I did. Went to a bunch of different places. And I found some pretty good stuff. I'm pretty excited about a couple of things that I found. And uh, I'll be back Wednesday because we have another half price day. So I'll go out again. So good way to start the week. Uh, first thing, a holy Godzilla. A whole bunch of Godzilla DVDs. 50th anniversary of Godzilla. To the 50th anniversary edition of Godzilla, Tokyo, SOS, and Godzilla Final Wars from that series. Uh, then we have Godzilla versus King Ghidorah and Godzilla versus and Mothra, Battle for the Earth. So a couple of these double feature discs as well. Uh, Godzilla versus the Smog Monster. Another 50th anniversary collection edition. Uh, Godzilla versus Biollante. I've seen that one before. I really like that one. That was good. And Godzilla 2000. So that was pretty interesting. All in one spot. Someone's Godzilla collection, pretty interesting. Uh, the Criterion of the Life Aquatic, Disney Pixar's Brave. This was, you know, a couple of these were at some of the other thrift stores, and then a lot of these were in the bargain bins. So like Brave was like 15 cents maybe. Uh, this is a BBC series, MI5, Volume One, and just a couple random DVDs. We have The Bishop's Wife with Cary Grant. And this collection I had to sort through to try and find all five volumes. I'm pretty sure it's a five volume. The whole thing, Marx Brothers collection. Uh, this, you know, inside the Marx Brothers, you bet your life, the um, pilot episode, radio days, mix nuts. So a lot of more documentary type stuff all about the, the Marx Brothers, not really any of like the movies or anything like that. So interesting collection and I found the whole set there. The Simpsons, we have seasons four and three so some good classic simpsons and some classic south park we have the complete season eight one of the better seasons of that show so that was pretty good just a a couple of video games for once doesn't happen very often nothing super amazing but bioshock infinite greatest hits edition ps3 and for the wii smash brothers brawl it has the manual 
everything in there so that it is good. I don't really find a whole lot, especially Nintendo stuff. Anything first party Nintendo that you do not find here or it's in the like, glass cases for big money. Some more Pango books, Eternal Darkness for Amanda to grab, and Before You Break. A classic Rainbow Bright golden book. Rainbow Bright gets rescued. Oh, it's nice to find good 80s stuff. And this, uh, where was this from? The Notre Dame, I think it was? Yeah, the University of Notre Dame's printed you know, New York, uh, The Life of Christ. This is one that I picked up, again, for like, uh, I think it was 50 cents, and easy, like $10, $15, so that was worth grabbing. I've never heard of this one before, but Rose Matter, another Stephen King. And this Jane Austen collection, four novels, one of those just super pretty, probably was it Barnes & Noble, more than likely those classics that they were doing those series. But yes, a nice little find there as well. And a few oddball things. I uh, picked this up. This is one of the two, th these are the two things I actually found mixed in with the clothing at that first place, and that was it. Uh, but this Hot Wheels track with a uh, big shark opens up. We'll open her up here. Nothing too crazy, but uh, didn't really cost very much and is in really good shape, so. And I was like, I needed to grab something that was worth something there, because I spent all that time and gas money. And this uh, figure of Pennywise from the newer Stephen King's It movies. Uh, so it didn't come with any accessories or anything, but at least you know, he's in good shape. There's no real marks or damage, so that was at least worth grabbing, because he was up to kind of a few cents. So, stayed out a little bit longer and turned things around and actually ended up with a pretty good Monday morning. I'm uh, definitely happy with what I found and excited to go back out on Wednesday and hopefully add another pile this big worth to put on all the various stores. Uh, and if you follow any of my you know, reselling stores, I know a few of you do out there, eBay and things like that, there's a lot of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards and stuff like that up on the Macari store. I redid a lot of those, so if you're into those definitely check that out. Uh, we've been having a, a lot of fun just kind of starting the year off with a lot of reselling, picking up what we can find, building up the stores, playing a lot of video games. Amanda's been on the Switch. She played her the, the Ori and the Blind Forest, is that what they call the, the ones that came from the Xbox originally on the Switch, the collection, and she's really enjoying that, but they seem to be really hard. I'm hearing a lot of swearing coming from the other room. They seem pretty difficult, and I've been enjoying the Yakuza games, so just Having a blast and going for the ride. I'll see you guys Wednesday, I guess, probably. Well, hopefully, if I find good stuff, I'll be back up here with another one of these.